What up, Bash Fam? So, today we have something a little different here. Uh, it's gonna be my first Dungeons and Dragons Adventures in the Realms here. Now, many of you may know I've been talking about it. I uh, wasn't gonna be purchasing this product. I'm not a big fan of this product in particular, and I'm kind of picky about when it comes to Magic the Gathering, like Secret Layers. I do not support Secret Layers. I have uh, just the thing about Secret Layers. Yeah, there's a lot of cool cards, but it just doesn't sit well with me. And there's a lot of product that uh, doesn't quite sit well with me. Um, there, there are some cool cards in this, don't get me wrong. Um, but I just don't like the fact how fast Wizards is pushing this stuff out. The quality control of everything. Uh, the delays in pushing masses towards Amazon. You know, there's just a lot of stuff going on. And this set in particular, I'm just not a fan of. Um, that's just me. And I'm going to voice my opinions on here because I like to and I like to talk about it a little bit. But I wasn't actually going to be opening any of this product on my YouTube channel because I just... this. I just, I am who I am, guys. Uh, not a fan of this, but I'm gonna do it anyways right now because Lewis won a booster box of this in the Ultimate Masters booster box wars that we've been hosting on Blissful Bash MTG. Um, but also, before we get started in this battle here, I'm sorry, just box break here, I would like to shout out yourplaymat.com uh, in the description box below of this video you will find a link that will bring you directly to yourplaymat.com where you can get some custom playmats, sleeves, and mouse pads on their website. And you get a discount by using the link of the affiliate link down below. And you're also supporting your boy, Mr. Blissful Bash MTG. Uh, so I get a little bit of whatever you guys spend. And in return, all of the money that I will be getting from the affiliate link stuff is gonna be turned around and put right back into giveaways for the group. Uh, this, this, cause that's what we do here. I do have a bunch of stuff that yourplaymat.com is sending me and I'm going to be making a video here shortly kind of giving a review of all of that stuff that they're sending me and I'll be able to compare and contrast some of their stuff with some things from like Anthony Gaming and other things like that and we're going to see what kind of quality they have so guys please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button and look in the description box below to hit that link to yourplaymat.com Check out the Facebook group as well and the Patreon where you can save a ton of money and get random packs open for you monthly. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and rip right on through this booster box here. I'm not going to spend a crazy amount of time on this because I have been just packaging a bunch of stuff today. I've already done live streams this morning and last night. Um, so just been busy. I start my new job next week as an operator at the refinery and training. So I'll just, uh, I don't want to spend a crazy amount of time on this. Lewis, congratulations, man. You as well deserved, dude. You won this. It was well deserved. We don't need to shuffle any of this. To be quite honest, guys, I really don't entirely know what I'm looking for in this set. I know there's already cards that are banned that weren't even play tested, and there's been some big controversy over that. Uh, I actually opened a Book of Exalted promo foils, which is pretty cool. I'm not sure what the list cards are gonna be in this. Pixie guy, that looks pretty sweet. Haven't even watched a video of one of these boxes being opened. This is how much I wasn't just that excited about this set. And uh, I'm a man of repetition and just not, not repetition isn't the word I'm looking for. Dungeon of the Mad Mage. So yes, they're obviously incorporating some pretty cool stuff. I get it. And I'm sure the Dungeons and Dragons fans are raving about this set. Which is cool, I personally never touched the game once, um, but I have played a lot of games in my life and it's just it's just not one of them. Dungeons and Dragons, pretty cool, I guess, for a lot of people. I just haven't tried it. I'm not gonna knock it until I try it, but hey, dang, look at the art on that. Zeriel Archduke of, I don't even know what that is. Full art, oh my gosh, and a great teacher's decree for um, the list card right there. Wow, that's pretty cool with art though. That is actually really cool. I like how they got it through the name and everything. That's a little different. That's new. That's a new style there for uh, Wizards Full Art. That literally looks like an alternate border. Like somebody, <laughs> you paid somebody to do that. That's really cool. Was not expecting that, guys. When I tell you I haven't watched a single video of this being opened, uh, I'm not lying to you, man. Like uh, any of the YouTube channels, Cracking Packs, Cards with Michael, Bad Boy Gaming, MTG Peddler, Paws Brown, all those guys, I haven't watched their videos if they've been posting this just because... That's just me, Pillage from Masters 25. Um, so, obviously the big card that everyone wants to get is Tiamat. So we're gonna see if we can pull one of those today. 
I'm not gonna lie, that card does look pretty sweet. The art on that looks very phenomenal. I mean, the full art foil, gorgeous, right? That's the chase card that everyone wants, right? Um, to me, value-wise, this isn't there. This set doesn't have it for me. Uh, it's not gonna be a good return for me. I am a return on investment type guy with everything I do. Um, I'm not gonna waste my time. I'm not gonna put myself in a position where I'm gonna lose money all that kind of stuff. Unless, of course, I'm doing box breaks and battles and stuff like that, because that is what's really fun to me in the game, is doing stuff like that. Obviously, other than playing, uh, but I'm a man, I'm a gambling man. I, I like to do the high risk reward type system, you know? Uh, it's just like anybody at the casino. They like to play high limit blackjack. Sometimes they play low limit blackjack. When I'm at the casino, yeah, you bet your hiney, I'm gonna be betting some big dollars real quick to try to get that fast return. Uh, so that to me is kind of fun with Magic the Gathering, getting in on those box battles, Tasha's hideous laughter, and a foil Tasha's hideous laughter. That's interesting. That's the first, okay, nice duplication. There we go. Um, but yeah, I, I love playing Magic the Gathering. I love when I have time, I get to play with some cool people. Commander is obviously my go to. I have about 14 commander decks. Uh, so that's pretty sweet. Just got actually back from New York for the 4th of July. We had a huge Commander Legends tournament. Uh, Commander Legends, just Commander tournament, Magic the Gathering tournament. And it was super fun, super interactive. Uh, and uh, the prize system, basically everybody got to play for free. You brought your decks and people walked away with prizes, like thousands of dollars worth of prizes. And it was so cool. Here's your signed, oh, that's gotta be worth some money right here. Now that you got the gold art signature there with Tiamat on it. That's gotta be worth something. I know somebody's gonna collect that. Red Dragon, that is gorgeous. Didn't realize you could snag some full art uncommons as well. That's pretty freaking cool. A little different, a little different in the set here for uh, stuff like this. I mean, just a wee bit different. Uh, wasn't expecting that. Let's go ahead and put a sleeve on this. I, I think this is, could be worth a little bit of money here. You get one of those per box. It's like uh, your box, like topper, essentially for that kind of aspect for those kind of collectors. But uh, yeah, no, I, I would have to say some of this stuff looks really cool. Uh, but to me, like I said, I'm just not gonna personally buy any of this for myself. Um, held in class, I know some people are looking for this Demolek. This spell costs one less to cast for each instant and sorcery spell you've cast this turn. Interesting. Whenever he attacks, exile up to one target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard. Copy, you may cast the copy. You may cast a Demolic from your graveyard by exiling four instant and or sorcery cards from your graveyard in addition to paying its other costs. Could have its uses. Definitely uh, could see some play for sure. Uh, me, just a little bit too much to do a couple of copies. You know what I mean? I guess it's pretty dope that he is a 4-3. That gives it a little bit of value to it, but uh, just a little bit too much to get that to go off. Personally, I'm not gonna use that kind of card. I'm very quick and dirty or long drawn out, not gonna wanna be my friend type of deal. I am a very, very heavy strategic mill player, but I also do other fun things as well. I do have a knight artifact deck that is pretty sweet. Oh, what up, girl, guy? Sully and uh, his girlfriend or whatever from Monsters, Inc. I've been seeing a lot of memes on that one. Lewis, so far, I would have to say, hey, Ebon Death Drake-alike. Flash flying, Ebon Death Drake-alike enters the battlefield tap. That kind of sucks. You may kiss him from your graveyard if your creature not named Ebon Death Drake-alike died this turn. Okay, interesting. Don't like it that he uh, enters tapped. But it is what it is. I guess he's a four drop for a five two flying. You do get to flash him in, so that doesn't really matter then. If you just flash him in on your opponent's turn, you get to untap him. I guess that's what they're kind of go for there. Uh, you may cast him though from your graveyard if a creature not named him died this turn. That's pretty cool. So you can flash him in from your graveyard. I guess you can, uh, it's that, that's not a bad card, honestly. Um, again, not too much to it. Yes, 5-2, flash, flying, 4-drop, though. Mm, it depends on what kind of deck I'm going to run with that. It could have its uses for sure. Um, but uh, like sacrifice creature or sacrifice type dealio decks, that'd be a good one in there. 
because then you could sacrifice. Yeah, there's a lot of things you could do with that. Oh, nice. Brainer Battle Hammer. We'll put that up front. Wizard class. We got Westgate Regine and Fates Reversal. The I feel like the the foiling on this is very bright. Very, especially in person, that's very vibrant. Aesthetics is unreal on that. That's pretty cool. That's kind of why I want to see what the full art foil TMT looks like in person. Like just those uncommon and common foils look phenomenal. This is, I think, going to go up there. Even the lands are pretty dope, dude. That, that's not that. Oh, Evolving Wilds. Nice. So cool. I know some people are going to be a fan of this. This isn't for me, guys. It's just not. It's not there for me. I know some people will probably be like, oh my gosh, that's so cool, and try to get into with the hipsters or whatever, or Magic the Gathering. Nope, nah, -uh. not for me. I'm just gonna be outright and blunt about it. Like I said, you just, this is what you're watching, man. You watch me for what I am, and uh, I'm just real, man. This is not for me. The set overall is gonna be a pass. And I know a lot of people feel the same way. And I bet you Wizards Pockets are feeling it a little bit too. Because I do believe this was drastically undersold. It overshot its price. It was sitting at about 290, 280. That's kind of when I did some of the pre-order stuff. It was around 260, roughly. And uh, now they're definitely bringing their coming back. They're retracting a lot in price, and uh, it goes to show that uh, when you see a decline like this, the hype is not there. Which, to me, surprisingly, Modern Horizons 2 has cut back a lot in price from the original, like, got all the way up to like 440, 450 at one point. Guys, don't sleep on Modern Horizons 2. That stuff is gonna go back up in price. That will skyrocket again. I believe it'll get back over that $400 threshold. And I do believe some people are noticing this. Coming up on a lot of fetch lands. Retro fetch lands, getting them for a killer price. And then the market is gonna be manipulated and changed and we're gonna see a huge pump in the market for Modern Horizons 2. This is kind of like a decoy. Uh, not like a decoy, but uh, like I said, man, I'm, a, I'm an investor. I invest, I invest my time into things that I know are gonna make a, a return on investment for myself in the future. And at the same time, by doing so, I'm able to take a lot of my profits and return them back to the people, the community, and give, do a lot of giveaways. And um, to me, this isn't going to be something where I can make that much money off of, so I won't be able to do as many giveaways type deals. So I'm sticking to new stuff, or not new stuff, but like, I've been doing a lot of Ultimate Masters. It's, it's a driven factor that people love Ultimate Masters. I do too. It's... I, the funness of getting that box topper and the crazy mythics and rares that you can get in that set are so much value. That like the prices on Ultimate Masters, Eternal Masters, Iconic Masters, Double Masters, the VIPs, Modern Horizons and Modern Horizons 2, stuff like that, and Commander Legends 2 for goodness sake. Stuff like that is going to keep going up in price. You're not gonna see this stuff printed again. Uh, I mean, yeah, sure, it'll be reprinted, but the actual sets are not gonna be seen again. Um, they're out of print, most of them, and <laughs> it's going to go up in price. And that's why I like to buy stuff like that, because there's money to be had. There's so much fun to be had. There's so much value that everyone can get. And overall, it's just fantastic sets. Um, enough about talking about the values and what I don't like and do like. Um, I will say there is some interesting things to this set as far as like being able to incorporate a whole group of people into a game. So let's, you know, like let's just say I play Dungeons and Dragons, that's it. I see what Wizards is doing here, it's pretty cool. Don't get me wrong. It just makes me wonder what else they are gonna do because it's not gonna stop with just Dungeons and Dragons. You've all heard they're coming out with a Stranger Things secret layer. I think a lot of that stuff will see some crazy collector prices. Again, that is cool, but I am not going to buy it, uh, secret layer stuff, uh, just for the sole fact, because I would only be buying it to try and make money. I, I want to buy something that I can share with the group, and then also make some type of profit, and then also reshare with the group. I like the ebb and flow, the circle of life type deal, however you want to call it, man. Uh, but you guys keep this channel alive, so I like to try to keep you guys alive, you know what I mean? 
And with stuff like Secret Layer and, you know, sets like this with not that much ROI or great hits in here, I'm just not going to put my value, my time and money into it, my efforts. It's just not worth my time. So, Lewis, <laughs> dude, I been just bashing the crap out of the set, man. Again, Lewis, congratulations, dude. You won this all for a, getting in on a battle and getting the lowest CMC in a battle, bro. You get all this for, you know, basically, you gambled for it. But it's pretty cool, dude. Like I said, there are some people that have, they love this set, man. And that's good for them. And, you know, maybe you're one of those people, Lewis, where you absolutely love this set. Or you're a big fan of Dungeons and & Dragons. And I'm really happy for you, man. I don't like to try to knock people down. I, I You know, if you love something... Go for it, man. Go for it. There's the Northern Minnesotan coming out of me. Go for it, yeah. But yeah, like I said, man. Ooh, that's really cool. All right, let's see. Blit, Minimus Containment. You find the villain's lair. A kick in the door. The Temple of the Dragon Queen. Dragon's Disciple. White Dragon. You find a cursed idol. Lightfoot Rogue. What are some of these names? Borpal Sword. Nice, dude. Dire Wolf Prowler. That's pretty cool. And the Orvar. The All Form list card from Kaldeheim. So this is the promo card. Uh, that's pretty cool that uh, we were able to pull this. I don't think we pulled one here so far tonight, but that's pretty sweet, man. And then, you know, the Dire Wolf Prowler. I don't know how collectible these are. Um, I will, I'll set it off here. And then we got the Orval, the all form, man. This card's actually a commander card uh, that Tyler Olson uses. Pretty good, pretty good likes to flicker a bunch of spells out and just destroy me okay moving on we got okay that's pretty cool i like that i like that that's going to the side here let's go ahead and run it run it exorn devoted paladin and then the no nah uh did not know this was chilling in the list spot bro whatever dude enlightened tutor luis santos whatever Oh my goodness, thumbnail? Does this even like even make sense? Whatever, dude. Enlightened Tutor. <laughs> That's sweet, man. I'm glad we pulled that. That makes me happy, man. That really that why I'm like going over to the pile over to grab another pack. I did not know that was a list card in the set, bro. That is really cool. So oh, okay. Temple of the Dragon Queen. So that's a land as well. We'll set this off to the side, I guess. So that was a surprising uh, <laughs> little freaking list card surprise, man. I believe we have six packs left. Guys, again, if you haven't already, please check out the description box of this video. I know about maybe 25% of you guys do, but uh, we do have some cool stuff. We have giveaways all the time. Very nice. We got another signed card. We do giveaways all the time. Like we've given away almost, we're pushing $10,000 worth of giveaways now in the group overall. Don't tell me, don't tell me. Oh my God, I thought that was Tiamat. Oh, I thought that was him, dude. Yo, Full Art Foil Mythic, bro, from not a collector's pack is just to me an overall absolute win. An absolute win. Oswald Fiddlebender, very nice. So that was Inferno of the Star Mounts. The spell can't be countered, flying haste. Inferno of the Star Mounts gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn. When its power becomes 20 this way, it deals 20 damage to any target. That card to me is very interesting. I would like to see somebody break this card and just make it ridiculous. Um, because I overall think that would be an awesome card to play with. That would, Like I said, there are some cards in this set. That is one card that I'm willing to buy. Just to see what I can do with it. What kind of fun I can have with it. Like I said, there's cards in every set that I'm going to like. But... Uh, I look at a lot of different factors than just some certain cards that I like. Um, don't get all Talarian on me. Hey, old Navo, another good card there. And a Dungeon of the Mad Mage again. Dude, we're seeing a lot of Mythics. This is a really good box overall. I mean, from not watching any videos or doing any myself, I can firmly tell you that this is a good box. Just by the value that we've been opening. And I haven't done a lot of price checking on this. But just reading some of these cards, I can tell you right now, there's another one, nice. There's gonna be a little bit of value here that we've just opened. Might not be crazy, but it's there. And this overall has been a really good box. That Enlightened Tutor, like, good one, dude. That's such a good card, bro. Oh man, Lewis, you're gonna be so happy you won this. And watch and let me open this. And 
I'm just happy for you, man. We have so much fun, guys. Again, like I was saying, if you haven't already, please check out the uh, description box below in this video. Check out yourplaymat.com. Oh. There he is. There he is. We pulled him, guys. <laughs> he pulled him. No way, dude. What a box, dude. What a box, Tiamat. <laughs> I'm going to put a caption in this. Like, is this the best set booster box open on YouTube to date? Clickbait! I don't care. Bro, yeah, I don't think you can get in a much better box than this, man. Overall, oh man, that is some straight value. Wow, that is like Ultra Instinct Goku value, bro. <laughs> oh man, this is so much fun. I, I love doing this stuff for people. I just know how hyped people can get when stuff like this is open. And I'm able to do it for them, you know? I like being that guy. Again, guys, last pack here before we go. Check out the description box for the third time now. I've been trying to talk and then I get distracted. Uh, yeah, hit up yourplaymat.com. I'll hit their logo up here in just a sec. And uh, use the affiliate link to get some custom playmat sleeves and mouse pads. And if you use the link, you get discounted. And I also get a little piece of the pie there. And we also have a Facebook group called Blissful Bash MTG, also known as the Bash Fam. Please join the Bash Fam because we do so many giveaways and you become a part of some awesome community. We also have a Discord and uh, we also have a store opening up next year. And all that being said, too, we also have a Patreon as well. Check it out down below. We're going to be doing lots of giveaways for Patreons. Every month we do a random giveaway for anyone that's a Patreon. You get a chance, no matter what tier you are, to become a... Uh, no matter what tier you are of the Patreon, you get a chance to win a uh, random prize every month. Sometimes it's a booster box. Sometimes it's really valuable cards. And you can save a ton of money, even if you're just a $25 a month Patreon. $3 a month Patreon is just pure support for your beloved Bash King, and you still get entered in for those giveaways monthly. That being said, Luis Santos, last pack magic here for you, buddy. We've pulled a lot of magic so far. So, Adult Gold Dragon, and we ended it on another Mythic, dude. How many Mythics is that, bro? Icing Death Frost Tyrant. Hey, get out of here, bro. Let's, can we count the Mythics, please? Oh my god. One, two, enlightened tutor, like whatever. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight mythics, dude. Eight mythics, bro. That's craziness. All right, guys, as always, hashtag stay groovy, hashtag bash fam, hashtag peace out and have a good weekend. Peace.